An organization that helps children with limb differences play sports had their equipment stolen over the weekend. And police believe the crime could be connected to car break-ins in Chesterfield. Fox 2's Dan Gray has more tonight in a story that's all new at 6. This is the Nobility Athletic Foundation in Action, an organization in DuCoin, Illinois, that travels the country putting on sports camps for kids with limb differences, including missing hands and legs. The organization founder, who was born without a left hand, was excited about bringing the camp to St. Louis. The most important thing I was looking forward to was just getting them out there and letting them be kids. But there was a setback. Before the first pitch was thrown Saturday at Champions Village in Fenton, an indoor baseball and softball training facility. And to come out and see that tailgate down, especially knowing those thefts, you know, immediately my heart dropped and I ran over to my truck and it was just as I had feared. Cooner's truck, parked in front of his in law's home in Chesterfield, was broken into late Friday night. $2,000 worth of sports equipment stolen from the bed of the truck. Chesterfield police believe the thieves seen in this video taken over the weekend is the same group that stole the equipment. Coonert then called Champions Village to see if they could help. Is there any chance you can we can borrow some equipment from you or, or anything? He's like, yeah, I got everything you need. He said, don't worry. He said, we'll give it all to you. You know, they were already donating the facility to us. I mean, that's just to have that kind of support is truly overwhelming. So the camp went on on Saturday and when word got out on social media that nubbability had been hit by thieves, supporters and strangers had a generous response. For people to, you know, just roll up their shirt sleeves and immediately go to work trying to help us, people reaching out and email and, and then not only raising, you know, enough money for the equipment, but exceeding that. It's truly humbling. Coonert says he will return to St. Louis for future camps, but will make sure he doesn't leave the equipment in his truck overnight. I'm Dan Gray, Fox 2 News.